glasses for our sea. A glass and some water. First, pour some water into the glasses. Before you play it, make sure your hands wet. Why a wine glass produces sound, we should first look at what sound is. Sound, at its most basic level, is waves of pressure traveling through the air that move particles of air in a repeating pattern. The movement of these particles are interpreted by our ears as sound. As you slide your finger around the rim of the glass, the ridges in your finger slip and stick, causing the wine glass to vibrate at its natural frequency, just like a violin bow slips and sticks as it moves across a violin string. This is called slipstick motion. Wetting your finger allows it to easily slide along the rim of the glass. The vibration produced by your finger travels around the glass. If your finger reaches a vibration at the right time, it will cause the vibration to amplify. This is repeated over and over again, and once these vibrations reach the natural frequency of the glass, it causes air molecules to vibrate at the same frequency. So why does the sound produced from our wine glass change when we add water? As you add water to our wine glass, the mass of the wine glass increases. This increase in mass causes the wine glass to vibrate in larger and further apart waves. The larger and further apart the waves are, the lower the pitch of sound that the wine glass produces. If we compare the sound waves of a glass with a little bit of water versus one with lots of water, we can see the difference in the shape of the sound waves that are produced.